Hi guys, Mark here again. Uh, today you're here to learn the fantastic tune I Feel Fine by, yeah, those guys, the Beatles. Um, mm. This is it's a really bluesy track. It's uh, A lot of the Beatles stuff is, like Day Tripper. Uh, go, go back to the video Day Tripper. That, that is blues quintessentially. It's got major and minor thirds and everything, which is what blues is all made of, major and minor. Anyway, this one is another example of the blues, and um, I think that they're, they... They weren't known as a big blues band, but yeah, I could go on about that for hours, but yeah, you just want to learn the song, don't you? Let's just do it. All right, okay. So it starts us off here with a D note. It's in the key of G, but it starts off with a D note, because we, we are using the dominant fifth as a starting point, and then it's going to end up going back down to the G note, which is on the third fret on the bottom string. Let, let's get to it. So it's, um, oh, sorry, and I missed out the first bit. On the uh, record, you hear this. A string just with the volume down you just play it and then you increase your volume come in and then we come in with this first first little chord here, all right well it's, it's not a chord it's like an arpeggio ish but yeah yeah that's another day all right so bottom string 10th fret play the D string 12th fret twice pull off the 10th fret on the D string and then 12th fret on the A string okay All using up and down picking people. And then we just do this. It's 12, 11, 9 on the G string. 11 again on the G string. And then 12 on the D string. D string. Yeah. Uh, with that, just a quick one. Yeah, you'll, you'll see that I've just done 12 on the A string. You lean your ring finger back over to do that 12 on the G string. Just makes it easier then. Have a look. Roll it over. Okay. So that's our shape. All right. So that shape, we're going to move that around. At the moment, that's a D. We're going to move it down to C. So that's the same shape. Move it down two frets. So now we're on eighth fret, then tenth fret on the D string. Pull off to eight. Ten on the A string. Yeah. You get it. Yeah. So. Exactly the same shape, we just move everything down two frets, okay? Then we do the same thing down G. Third fret on the bottom E string. Now down there you're gonna find the frets are quite wide, so you're gonna have to kind of compensate for where you were quite quite tight frets to quite wide frets, yeah? So your fingers are gonna have to spread out a bit more, that's all. Yeah, you'll be fine. Okay. So that's the intro riff, and these, whenever I, because we're going to go through the uh, the verses and everything now, um, whenever you hear the verses, they throw these in every now and again. So have a listen to the song, and, and just put in where, where you want. If you were playing this in a band situation, it doesn't really matter, throw them in, leave them out, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter, just as long as you start it off with the main riff, and then you do the chords as I'm gonna describe them now, okay? Right, so by the diamond rings, you know, something like that, yeah? You can just stick, excuse me, you, you can stick with just a G5 power chord, bring off your vo volume a bit, so there's, excuse me, not not too much distortion. Diamond rings, you know. Okay, now my strum pattern here is, is very ad-lib, yeah? I'm, I'm, I'm not going exactly like the record, so, you know, I'm, I'm just kind of playing it as I want to play it, yeah? It's all right, it's all right. I'm, I'm sure that they wouldn't mind, it's okay, it's okay. And I'm just throwing in some dummy strums, some of that. So just roughly, it's down, 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 dummy up, down, dummy up, down. Okay, then we just move that same shape, that's power chord shape, yeah? If you didn't know power chords, I've got a power chord lesson which I'll probably put a link up for. Probably it's, a, it's floating on the screen now. An annotation, yeah, probably floating on the screen now. Click on that, have a look at that, and then come back here. All right. So that's a G, G5. And then she said so. All right, so all I did then was move from the third fret with my index finger all the way up to a D on my tenth fret index finger. The shape stays the same. Yeah, it's all. She said so. That's one bar, and then he goes into I'm in love with her and I feel fine, all right, which is D, so you still stay on the same D, yeah, all right. Love with C, down to the eighth fret, and I feel G, fine. 
Now you could go. Excuse me, excuse me. Um, I'm in love with her and I feel fine. Like that. Da, 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 da. And then into the next verse, yeah? It's entirely up to you, like I said before. It's all good. It's um, a very ambiguous song. You can you can play it as 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 you wish. Other than that, that's basically covering the entire song, all right? It's a good tune, it's a good tune. I'm sure that you all agree. Um, so yeah, don't forget to subscribe to win, uh, or to be in with the chance to win a Skype lesson with me, um, which would be pretty cool. Um, be glad to meet you all. And uh, don't forget to like my Facebook page, which is uh, Mark Randall's from Guitar Tuition. And I've also got lots of information and tab as well on my guitar lessons at www markrandallson.co.uk but there will be links all over this video and probably down there in the in the uh, description and everything all right so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video don't forget to subscribe mark out for now